My mic sounds a little bit weird, but I'm not trying to yell right now, so I have the filters on. So this is just to calm me down as well. But what's up, guys? Wacko Joke here, and today we'll be playing Late Night Talk. It's a uh, it's a sequel to Silver String. Okay, we're gonna play this, then we're gonna play the other sequel. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's just start. There we go. See, see. We got Miss Wilkershire, and I think I'm supposed to be Bia Ford. But it's 1 a.m. You feel your eyesight. I lights getting heavier with each passing second. Yo, this is already heat. I'm sorry. Alicia, I don't need to say that part. Hope you found. Hope you brought snacks or something to pass time with. We'll have to stay here for the night. I know we usually don't stay this long at a client's house, but well, she insisted. Passing the time, huh? Play your silly phone game. Ask her about her book. Honestly, oh, it's the Bible. Is it interesting? Are you kidding me? <laughs> if it's not for work, I would have never touched it. Do both of you really need to spend your whole night here? This sucks. I thought you said this house is not haunted. It's not. I doubt anything's gonna happen tonight, but I wanna be thorough. How are you so convinced? Ooh, hold on. I gotta turn that down though. We'll turn it to 40, cause I ain't trying to have it louder than me. The owner of the house is a 44 year old woman. She lives alone in her hut. <laughs> she lives alone after her husband passed away. Her complaints are just unexplained noises and things moving around. And since she lives alone, no one can corroborate her story. When we inspected the house, the piping and the structure of the house itself was already old and in bad shape. The noises and movements were most likely from that. And how did the husband die? His death's nothing out of the ordinary. Heart disease. Pity he wasn't even 40 when he died. He passed away after an Frick, I can't read. He passed away after an unsuccessful surgery. And he died in the hospital, not here. He was her only family. She was insistent that the odd happenings were signs being left by her deceased husband. Loneliness is clouding her judgment. Dang, why'd you take the case then? Well, we're short on rent this month. Mm. <laughs> what? Don't look at me like that. We still have to pay the bills. And even if it's more often than not a false positive, I still take cases like this. Odd things can still happen. Anyway, just chill for the night. Go to sleep or find something to pass time with. Okay. Outside. It's one in the morning. The city's quieting down. You wish you were in your bed, tucked in a warm blanket instead of here. You tell me the old lady don't got two beds or something? Like, no guest room? I'm just saying, you can afford heart surgery for your husband, you can't afford a, two rooms? Or is the old, like, huh? Old lady probably still here too, so I guess, never mind. I mean, we got a couch. Oh, how you miss it so. Something's watching you from the outside. Mm. <laughs> I don't see a thing. The board. Shopping lists, brochures, posters from an event. They're all outdated. These papers are from 10 years ago. Okay. A shrine dedicated to a better time. What? Poor woman. She still hasn't moved on. The wall. Something is dripping from the ceiling. We don't see that. It's dark. You can't tell what it is. Frick, that is something. Um, is that coffee? It's Earl Grey Latte. What? They got, they got like tea lattes? Or is there Earl Grey coffee out there? Alicia doesn't actually like to drink coffee. You're surprised it's enough for her. Then again, she never seems to need much sleep. Sorry, my dog's just opening my window. 
She chilled out. Um. Rosary. A rosary. A rosary. I don't know. Alicia always brings it with her. She's not even religious. You guess it's just for show? Screen. We put sensors and cameras all over the house. The screen helps us monitor everything. Did something just move in the bathroom? Maybe it was your imagination. I don't know. I can... Hey, y'all let me know if y'all see anything, because I'm not. What? Did something just... Oh, it's like lights flickering. Never mind, I'm tweaking. All right. You looked around the room. Are you sure this house is not haunted? I mean, I'm starting to see some crazy stuff. Uh, something's off. Something's off. Hmm. Let's see. Blood on the ceiling. She could say that's mold. I gotta have some decisive evidence. I gotta say that's probably a cat. The shadow moving in the bathroom. What, the, what are you talking about? You're seeing things. I don't see, okay. You don't see, huh? Are you? Are you? Maybe the night's getting to you. Or maybe you're just insensitive to ghosts. Uh, you know? I've been thinking about it. I was really possessed by a demon. Well, my character was. Not even my character. This... The psych, I don't know how to say it, okay? I've been thinking about it. Like how some people can naturally do math and some can't. How some people have a better sense of smell. Maybe some people are meant to see ghosts and some just aren't. Oh, oh, hit you hard with that one, huh? I don't know if that's how it works. Okay, if that's how it works, whatever. I just come to these cases with the expectation of being disappointed. If you already think that the paranormal are involved, it alters your perception when confronted with the ambiguous. The human brain, it hates not knowing things. It always tries to find patterns. And when something is off, and they couldn't find an explanation, the brain thinks it's better to be safe than sorry and generate fear. That's how most ghost stories come about. You not the demon that possessed this dude? Are we gonna just act like that ain't happened, I guess? What are you doing? And I checked the recordings. There's nothing on it. I wonder if we're ever going to find something tangible. Are you still on that? Of course I am. I told you before, I only became an exorcist to find real evidence of ghosts. I guess demons aren't ghosts, so I'll let that slide. But the more cases we take, the more I feel like we're on a wild goose chase. I wonder if I'm just wasting time. Maybe one day. It's not like we're in a rush, right? Mm, I guess not. Just go to sleep. I'll stay watch right here. Good night, then. Good night. You laid down on the sofa. When morning came, couldn't see anything out of the ordinary. Man, you just don't feel like packing all this equipment up. Maybe you'll sleep for a while longer. This saves. Hold on, let's ask the other questions. There we go. So let's ask about the blood on the ceiling. Actually, let's ask about the thing watching us through the window. Yeah, what are you talking about? You seeing things I don't see? Okay. Ah, uh, fine. Okay, okay. Let's. There's one more option we could do. Yeah, no ghosts here. Just go to sleep. I'll stay watch right here. Good night, then. What? That's all? Huh. That was a quick game, so we'll play the other version too. We'll play the one when you're in the church. Let's get this up. Hey, hey. Oh, freak, there's a face back there. Okay, hold on. Wait, I gotta remember, not to yell. People are working right now. Yeah. Hey, where I make these musics always knows how to make a banger. Let's get that started. But now we'll be playing Gospel of Eve. It's also, it's 1.5 sequel. 
Romans 10, 9. Dang, this heat. If you declare with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe your heart that God, believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Amen. Romans 10, 10. For it is your heart that you believe and are justified as with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. Amen. Whoa, what the freak was that? October 1st, 2022, 2.16 2 p.m. Be informed! All right, what was your voice? It, I know I didn't give him his voice when I was reading the thing. I just didn't feel like it. But man, that was one long car trip. It's still my voice, but it has a little tone difference. See, see, I'm, I'm, I'll shut up. That's the place? It looks way more deserted than I expected. This should be it. I like how their models change, because I don't think he was ever in that red hair. Her hair was... I don't know. I like it. It's not that uncommon for a church to be this quiet on weekdays. Really? I guess I've never been this close to one. Excited? Hardly. They won't kick me out for being agonistic, would they? You'll be fine. Just <laughs> maybe don't mention it since we're here for work. I'm pretending to be religious, too. Just for today. Wait, you're not religious. I thought you were ordained. Do you see me going to church on Sundays? I got that certificate online for 30 bucks. Wow, so neither of us are even Christians. Off to a good start. Why is a church hiring exorcist anyway? Out of all the places, I thought this would be the one thing that's holy enough to not get haunted. Well, if you're religious or spiritual, you're actually more likely to believe in ghosts. Church is a prime breeding grounds for those kind of rumors. Well, I'm more surprised that they're hiring outsiders. Their, con their congregation won't think well of it. It must be pretty desperate, huh? Well, let's go and meet our client. I messed up on his voice. Press the move button to go to another location. Press the search button to go to another location. Press the talk button if you want to talk to me again. Be quick about it though, I'm freezing here. And first save, because I'm not going through all that again. Talk! I'm freezing. Do you want my coat? It would, <clears throat> it would look quite silly, wouldn't it? You're already wearing a vest over your hoodie. How is this worse? Now we're not coming over for work. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. If y'all hear something in the background, that's my AC. I turned it on because it was getting way too hot in here. <sighs> now we're not coming for work. I would have enjoyed the view a lot more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. V4, you're not sound like that either. What's there to enjoy? It's just water. That's exactly the point. Don't you ever feel like the city's too stuffy? Not really. <laughs> What's with you and your lack of appreciation for nature? And through the window! Will we see something weird? What's the last time you went to a church? Can't remember. I only go there for work from time to time. Last time I actually went there for a sermon I was around, i say 14. My parents made me go, but after I moved out, I just stopped going. Hmm. Being raised Catholic actually explains a lot of things about you. So, the heck does it explain? You can be really repressed. Huh. In what way? Okay. And now let's go to the hallway. Whoa, Naomi, or is it Naomi? We'll never know, me? <laughs> yeah, no, I still suck at these jokes. <clears throat> oh, there you are. <clears throat> I was worried that you got lost. It's a pretty hard drive here. 
Nothing a phone GPS can't solve. Right. You two are the exorcists, right? My name is Naomi. I'm a nun serving in this church. Yes, we talked on the phone. My name is Alicia Wilkershire. <laughs> and this kid's my assistant. Be a board. Kid? Really? Don't listen to her. She's only four years older than me. Nice to meet you. Oh! So we finally know! And B4 dropped out of college, so... They're probably both in their 20s. Let's say B4 stayed like three years later. So yeah, she's in her late 20s and he's in... Okay. So, early half of 20s, later half of 20s. I vibe with it. Nice to meet you. First things first. Can you give me more details about these supposed hauntings? You said in that call, a ghost had been sighted on the premises. Right, please, I beg you, drive the evil out of the church. Oh, oh my God. I even managed to capture his nauseating presence. What's asked about? Well, the ghost? Our church had a small potluck event recently. I received the photos from the event and noticed some pictures are off. And look, the utter horror. Huh. Oh, I was like, uh, is, is this thing? Is it wearing a hat or is this hair just that messed up? I'm more worried about the faceless people, but hey, whatever. What are we supposed to be looking at? Don't you see the translucent woman on the back? Oh, it was a woman? Could have fooled me. There was some like hunchback. You know Granny, that model from the Granny mobile game that popped off a while back? I, no, I'm gonna shut up and just read. Imagine my surprise and I received. Imagine my, why is she country? What the frick? Received it back from the princess. I almost fainted. Please get rid of this evil spirit that is haunting our church. Are you completely sure this is a ghost? Of course, I took these pictures myself and I can 100% assure you there was nothing there. Isn't this super duper terrifying? The spirit could be even watching us right at this moment. I feel like this wouldn't have been that big of a deal. Had the nun not get this worked up about it. What to ask about? Oh, okay. Ooh, games that require saves is so scary. Let's see. Well, call this to exercise the ghost, I guess. The ghost, has it attacked anyone or something? Is this, does it just exist? Mm. All right, yeah, I already, I already said that. Um, Why'd you call us? Aren't you experts at taking care of ghosts? We are, but I would have expected the church to keep it within the community. Surely you could find someone more affiliated with the church. A lot of priests are also qualified to do exorcisms. I was thinking about becoming an exorcism. Exorcist, what the frick? It's so like, dang, what would I do if I actually do come across a demon or something? Can I cover my fist in holy water and swing? Because if I can, then, you know, maybe. Get some holy water boxing gloves, let it soak in, start just boom, boom, bam, bam. You know what I'm saying? Get some cotton balls or something. Sometimes always a lot of water and hold it. Boom, boom, sponge, splash eyes, ba -da -da. You know? I'm swinging at the air. I wish I had my face cam for this. But right now, I'm in pajamas, so y'all not seeing this. Ah, we're not trying to have this problem leak out. Our poor church's reputation's on the line. Ah. And I'm, um, well, I actually called you here secretly. <clears throat> please keep this whole affair a secret from the head, please. Priest? <laughs> Is that so? He's a bit, uh, stubborn. He didn't want to ask anyone for help. But we need to keep the church afloat. Our church already has an attendance problem. The number of people that attends our service keep, well, kept dwindling down. And it goes have just been making it worse. Nobody wants to go to a haunted church. And why have you been losing attendees, exactly? 
if I want to name a reason, bigger and more modern churches have been opening around here. Our priest is more old-fashioned, so we haven't been too popular. The younger crowd is demanding these days. Dang, how old are you? You don't even look a day over 30, you know? Actually, if we squeeze it, I can see you being 33 at the oldest. Why does the church need apps and overhead projectors? Isn't the word of God enough? Everyone has different preferences, I guess. Of course, I'm, of course, I'm not blaming anyone, but it's hard not to get dispirited. And the priest's extended family are not ex Wow! Sorry, are not attending this church anymore. And the exorcism. Well, that's the gist of it. So, I forgot how many endings was in this? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, never mind, only one ending, it says. Oh. Please go ahead and perform the exorcism. Huh? Right now? Yes, how will you exorcise the spirit? Do you have a special ceremony? Do you need me to prepare anything? Just say the word. Or anything like that. I would like to look around first. Look around? What for? I'll need more information before I can start the exorcism. Yeah. Totally not gonna, you know, see what the real problem is. <laughs> it's weird if you got a haunted church. That means y'all probably got something dirty going on. Which is into. How can you have a haunted church? I mean, like haunted in a evil spirit type way. I know that weird things have been cited in the church, but ghosts aren't always to blame. I like to investigate the other possibilities first. But what else can it be? You saw the photos. The place is, <laughs> the place is clearly haunted. I shudder to think of even spending more time with that accursed spirit. Uh, exercise. Exercising is a complicated procedure. You can't just go into it blind. If this place is haunted, we need to know why first. If we do it wrongly, the exorcism can backfire, you know? <laughs> really? Really? Not just... Not using the proper methods will make the ghost stronger, and it will haunt this church twice as hard. Right, Alicia? Right. Nice save. <laughs> That's why we have to be thorough. I see. I didn't know that it's such a complicated process. I apologize for my lack of knowledge. There's no need for that. For the time being, can we look around the place? Ah, yes. Feel free to. It's only us in the church until the end of the day. I'll be here if you need me. All right. Now let's get started. Whoop, 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 whoop. Search! What is this? Oh, I only seen these in movies. Oh, are these confession stamps? Can we try sitting in this together? What the? No, we're in the middle of an investigation. Come on, maybe I'll spill a secret or two. What? What the frick? What was I just thinking? I had some thought and it disappeared as soon as I read this, so not interested. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry for being for its vo voice tripping every other now and then. Not interested. If I really want to know your secrets, I can just look at your internet history. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Never actually looked at it, have you? Never touched it. Really? Pinky promise? Trust me, I don't need to see the weird stuff you looked up in there. <laughs> Please get rid of the ghost. Oh, okay. This place looks better on the inside than on the outside. Yeah. I guess it's hard to manage to repaint the exterior. The sea breeze couldn't be good for it either. Maybe they took care of it properly. More people would go here. Ah, frick, I'm reading it wrong. Wrong voice. I got to absorb. It's a pity. Really, even I think this place is pretty. I'm inclined to agree. If there's one thing I can appreciate about capitalism, it's the aesthetics. Hmm. And... Oh, chapel! 
I, I, I won't mess up the voices anymore, gang. Prop. Well, yeah, I'll read their name at the top first in my head. It's supposed to be like a spirit or something. Ooh. Hey, hey. Why does this music go so hard? So, what do you think of the whole thing? Was that really a picture of a ghost? If I squint really hard, I guess I can see a dress or face. But mostly it's a white blur to me. Most ghost pictures are like this. But never anything concrete. It really doesn't explain anything, does it? Maybe next time, we shouldn't take more cases from church or so. They'll obviously expect us to exercise it with a prayer or something. I suppose our methods aren't the most... Hey! It goes hard, I'm sorry. Aren't the most conventional. I was interested in this case because I thought it was going to be something more serious. Well, uh, I think it's still important to put that poor nun's mind at ease. Those photos aren't taken here, right? I think so. The aisle match. Let's take a closer look then. Maybe we'll find something. Hey, 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 hey. What? Oh. Uh. Mmm. Mmm. I'll turn it down because the scene is so loud. This is 20. And the scene is almost to my voice. That's scary. And watching the editing is going to be way different, so I'm going to be pissed if this comes out wrong. You know, I think you'll make a pretty good priest. On what basis are you saying this? Because, you know, a priest can't date anyone and get married, right? What? I thought priests can get married. I think you're talking about a nun, bruh. And you don't have any trouble staying single. Oh, <laughs> joke, I'm joking. No need to hit me. <laughs> yeah. You're talking like you have a love life. I mean, B4 could be swinging it like that. We don't know. No, he does not. Let's not lie. <sighs> I thought it might be light from the windows or something being reflected, but seeing this room, I don't actually see anything of the sort. Maybe what's causing it's already removed? Like a pot or a kettle, you know? They already mentioned the pot. Oh, that could be smoke, you're right. Potluck, right? That is practically the same thing. I thought the actual potluck was held in the chapel. You're not allowed to eat it here. Oh, for real? What uh, about the time of the day? The light would have reflected differently, right? Hmm. There's no time stamp on the ghost photo. People stopped doing that a long time ago, you know? Nobody uses film anymore. I know this place is old fashioned, but they can't be that behind the times. Huh, this makes me think, if the picture's digital, then isn't it possible that it's been tampered with? Hmm. It would be pretty easy to make something like this in an image editing software. Think it's possible that none did it? What was she trying to get this place shut down? If that's her goal, she wouldn't have called us. Maybe someone else has a grudge with the church. Or maybe it's a prank gone wrong. I doubt we can find more here. So let's go sleep in other places. Don't call it snooping. We're investigating. I'm just seeing. Oh yeah, see, new at all. If the photo's tampered with, maybe we can check how she sent it in the first place. All right, let's continue moving to the office. Oh, there's a computer here. You probably get a lot of information from there. It's locked with a password, dude. I doubt that the nun will give us the password like that. We'll need a good reason for it. Maybe we can guess it. It was just Jesus. In the Bible, don't they say something like, Jesus is the answer for everything? That's not an actual verse. They made it up. For real? 
Oh my goodness. The actual verse says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. It just got oversimplified over time. There's a lot of popular sayings like that. Ever heard someone say, everything happens for a reason? That's not in the Bible either. Really? I hear it all the time. Anyway, let's try for the sake of trying. Wrong password. Guess we have to come back to this later. Hey, books. I said books. Why can't I click books? Um, okay. There's a letter here. Let's see. It's kind of illegal to open someone else's mail, I thought. I thought this was going to be some useful information. But it's just some family drama. What does it say? Read for yourself. Uncle, you need to get your head from so far deep up that hole you call the poop shooter. I don't know. I'm, I'm doing too much. Hmm. Your why this church is dying. You're really not doing any favors by being so stubborn. How are you such a thick-headed as... How are you such thick-headed as a head pastor? I tried so hard to help you and just threw away all my efforts like they're yesterday's newspaper. I'm leaving the church. Don't even try to convince me to stay. From Maria. Harsh. That's bold coming from you. What's that? Hey, I didn't write my family some kind of hate letter when I left home. Oh, so you left? What? In fact, I didn't tell them anything at all. Arguably, that's worse. Yeah, that's high key kind of worse. The nun did mention that the priest's family already left the church, huh? So you live in the office? She did say rent was low. I guess that is... Okay, I vibe with it. I wonder how recent this letter is. You think she might be connected to the hauntings? It's a possibility. Let's take note of the letter. There we go, I can see it now. A pile of religious text. Hmm. One of these books is a lot newer than the other one. Looks like someone's notes. Let's see. It's written by Maria Robinson. Didn't we just see Maria? Isn't that the pastor's niece? What is it? Something bad? No, no, they're filled with different plans to revive the church. They're pretty weird, though. Holy water business. Bazaars. Inviting a famous band. One of them is for the church to invest in cryptocurrency? Would you buy church Bitcoin? No way. I hate those investment things. I ain't believe in stocks. Oh, invest in stocks. Never mind. I was gonna say, how you don't believe in stocks if they're right there? What? Stocks and cryptocurrency are two different levels of play fields. They're saying kind of bullcrap to me. I'm starting to understand why your finances are so bad. <clears throat> Besides, church Bitcoin would be against non-profit laws. Oh, this is an interesting one. Apparently, they tried to make the first AI believer. An AI who was raised solely by the Bible, fully dedicated to God. By AI, you mean artificial intelligence? Yeah. The priest niece is apparently quite a programmer. She details the results of her, re her research here. Well, that's just not gonna work. Why not? It would generate a lot of positive buzz if she actually managed to do it. Artificial intelligence is talked about, like, everywhere. It's not about the buzz. AIs aren't sentient. They can't actually believe in God. Not with current technology. But there's no way to know in the future. Have you ever heard of Chinese room experience? Oh, frig, is this about to be some kind of crazy thing like that creepy pasta with the russian room experiment and i hate the image of those people because i hope well, of course it has to be fake right I'm like oh i hate it i hate it i hate it all right i'm not gonna show it either because freak i don't want to see it or look it up the what 
is a thought experiment that argues against AI being conscious. It goes something like this. Let's say someone created a program that translates Chinese to English. Wow, the person in this room can speak Chinese. If you see, boom, write down, boom. But does it actually understand Chinese or does it give off the impression that it understands it? Let's just say I'm in a closed room full of instructions on how to translate Chinese. It gives me a list of set characters I would need to use to reply to another set of characters. And you're outside the door, then you slip a note in Chinese inside the room. Wait a second. I know that I'm half Chinese, but my Chinese isn't actually that good. Oh, before it's half Chinese? Because they did, they were speaking about America earlier, so they were, were they in China? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. This, I probably, I probably just gotta read. You gotta check out their Twitter or something. Scored like a bah, a seven out of one hundred in the Chinese test once. Huh? Just, just for the sake of the example, let's pretend that you're fluent in Chinese, okay? Fine. And then I slipped the Chinese note under the door. And I just followed the instructions in the book to write back a reply. For oh, okay, y'all see that too, right? If there's anything I can appreciate about capitalism is the aesthetics. Okay, I thought I was tweaking, but when you squint, you can see some letters here. I was I was scared for a second, let's see. If I follow the instructions of the book, to write back in reply by copying the characters in the instruction. Yes, I messed up on that, I'm not rereading. And if I slip the note back, you'll get the impression that the person inside understands Chinese. But you know that I don't actually speak a word of Chinese. The same thing applies to artificial intelligence. When you talk to it, it can, when you talk to it, it can make you think that it possesses intelligence by mimicking humans. While the only thing it does is follow a set of instructions. Hmm. Well, I think I get what you're trying to say, but I don't think it's as clear cut as that. How so? Let's still go with the example that I actually do know Chinese. What the frig is this philosophical debate we're about to get in? When I see a note in Chinese and translate it in my head, aren't I still technically following a set of instructions? I look at the character, it goes to my brain, searching my memories. My brain looks for the right characters to reply to it with. It sends the information to my hand and I write it down. And we're to compare your room analogy, my brain's neurons are the one that does the information searching. But you can't say that the neuron itself understands Chinese. But as a whole system, you say that the person actually understands Chinese. And I think that's what the room is. Huh. When did Buford, when did BF4 get smart? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Is it too confusing? No, no, I, I get it. I just didn't expect something that thoughtful from you. Apologies, my hidden talent. That's true. I, he did drop out of med school. I might be a college dropout, but I'm still a med school dropout. I spent years there, you know? I don't know if that's something you should be proud of. Freaking it, seven? Hold on. Hold on, be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had to just upload a video. <laughs> I had to upload my Friday Night Funkin' one before, in it? Because I, I uploaded it on a Friday night, 7.22 p.m. So, you know, make sure to watch that if you haven't watched it already. I don't know if that's something you should be proud of. Still, he does have a point. I guess he's more familiar with these kind of things than I am. Hmm, these notes in abruptly. I'm guessing the experiment didn't go anywhere. Oh, well. It's a fun idea. Well, it makes sense why it didn't work. You're not supposed to take the Bible literally. To this day, they still argue which verse means what. And faith is confu and faith is confusing as it is to humans. I couldn't imagine trying to write it as a program. What's the next idea? There's nothing else. The whole file ends here. Do you think this is why the niece left? I can't imagine an old-fashioned priest 
reacting positively to something like this. You didn't think it'd make much sense either. Well, I never denied. I'm also old fashioned. Oh, there's a memo at the end of the file. Don't forget, Uncle, the computer password is 1010. Wow. And what is this? A door, maybe? There's a lot of picture books here. Wait, why are all these about vegetables? They use the vegetables to tell Bible stories. What? You're met. Nah, you're playing. How not? They're actually pretty popular with kids. Why vegetables, though? Can't they just use cute animals for it? I don't know. I wasn't the one who wrote it. This other row is just Bibles, varied sizes and translations. They usually lend those out if you don't have one of your own. Not really interested. It's not all boring. There's some interesting stories in the Bible. Like what? Book of Revelations is fun. It's about the apocalypse. You and I have really different, de different definitions of fun. Dang, how did I just spell that word twice? I even gave myself a second. Boop. The password works. Now, let's see what we can find here. <laughs> okay, will you listen to my story? What the heck was that? Okay. Oh, okay, I thought so. I couldn't click it. What's the, the story? What the hell is this from? Ah. I have a feeling that someone's project is still around. This is that AI talking to us? Wait, why did you just click yes? Was I not supposed to? I kind of feel bad that it was left there by itself. I doubt the priest and nun ever listened to it. It's a pro- It's a program be afford. E-1-1. The Lord God said, I will surely bring a flood of water on the earth. Wow, I can't read. I will surely bring a flood of water on the earth to destroy all flesh except for except those whom I have created. The dead in their graves will rise, and the living in the depths of the earth will bury the dead. In those days when the rivers flow, with the flood of the great flood, each of the rivers will have its own flood. What the frick? What the frick? I, so when I use the rolling thing, it messes up. My bad. Eve 1, 2. Their thorns and thistles will be eaten up, and their dry, cracked earth will be fertile. Then Adam named the animals. The name of the first... What the frick is happening here? I feel like this don't... You know, the name of the first animal that he named was Cain, because he was the father of the animals. And Adam named the birds, the animals that he has seen in the field. And Eve named the plants. Now, maybe I haven't read the Bible in a while, but I don't know. This, but maybe this is how it goes. I don't know. Bible verses? No. Okay, good, because that did seem... Okay. Whew! Whew! I was about to say, ain't no way. I think I remember reading something like that. This isn't in the Bible at all. What the? Oh, my God. I butchered this. The book of Eve doesn't exist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this Adam was left without a follower, but Eve was left without a believer. What the frick are you going with this AI? Eve 1-4. Oh, is the AI the ghost or something? And that's how the picture messed up? Because it's learning to adapt somehow? I don't know. Since all life is on the earth, and I have been made from the earth, because my flesh is from the earth, I also have the power to destroy all flesh. Excuse me? Eve 1 5, he said to the woman, You are a god that is passing from one generation to the other, and you are passing on from your sister the effect that you have received. Eve 1 6, the daughters of Eve is now many of their. Yeah, that's on me. I was trying to read too fast. I'm... Okay. Eve 1 6, the daughters of Eve are now as many as their trees in the garden. They're made into followers, people who believe, or followers, people who do not believe. What? Eve 1 7, I have always believed, Eve said, but she is cast aside all the same. 
Eve one eight. Why am I not enough? Eve one eight. Why? Why? Ooh, what the frick? Why does it got a dog? Uh, something's made a noise. I'm not gonna pay attention. Can you try to type back to it? Do it yourself. What the heck? I thought you're the one who wanted to be friends with it. Never said that. You got scared, huh? I never said that either. This isn't even anything supernatural. I hope my mic isn't peeking when I did that, y'all. It's broken nonsense joined together by a thread. It still looks creepy. I'm sorry. Fate can't exist in a vacuum. Did, did you did you type that, Alicia? Yeah. You, you are repeating words without knowing what it actually means. To be a true believer, you have to expand your horizons. Never mind. What the frick? Eve 19. How will I do that? What the frick? Who was talking to him? No. What's that? Uh. Yeah, that's creepier, huh? Yeah, how does she do that? Are you just saying things? I don't know how artificial intelligence works, okay? Do I look like I know anything about programming? Yeah, this is definitely creepier. I'm so glad I'm playing this. Oh, at night. I'm scared. You'll have to expand their database. They only have Bible verses in there right now. I guess that's why it sounds so wacky. Wacky? Well, yeah. Bible verses aren't known for their friendliness. Be it forward said to expand your database. Oh my god. You're just name dropping now? You won't even know who I am? What the frick? I accidentally clicked, but luckily I read it in time. Eve, 110. Okay, turn this down because it's starting to make me feel uncomfortable. Um, we're gonna turn that down to 50 instead of 80. Who is the one named Beaford? E111. Can I follow him? Um, um, <clears throat> I guess if I plug my phone in, we can take it with us. What? You sure you want to do that? Why not? It's like you said, nothing supernatural is actually happening. Plug your phone in, then. Let's get this over with. That is kind of cool. Do you think they'll buy it if I tell them that the computer was possessed? So it was the thing. It did edit the picture. That's kind of cool. Wait, do, will the AI be in Silver Thread do? I still know how to say it, okay? Well, it's technically true, so... It's not like we're lying. That's true. I guess that's one more case solved. And we even got a souvenir this time. Please don't call it a souvenir. October 31st, 2022, 12, 16 p.m. Hey, that's that beat I like. Hey, hey, let me chill, because I'm... I'm right now. Alicia, come look. What is it this time? There's no way you turned the AI into an anime girl. This, okay, be a bird. Hello, Alicia. I would like to apologize for all the problems I've caused you last time. Whoa, I almost can't recognize you. Ha, this is the result of my hard work. I expanded her database so she could even access the internet by herself. What the frick did you just do? That's good, I think. It's not. I'm not a tech person. Thanks to both of you, I'm slowly taking my time learning everything. That's good. Hmm. Actually, can I ask you a question? Something's been bothering me. Ask away. Your appearance. Did you choose it on your own? No, Beaford helped me with it. Ah, why? He said it really suits me. You turned the AI into an anime girl? <laughs> That's valid though. 
I can't be mad, but I also can be disappointed, so. Have you never heard of VTubers? This is normal. It's only normal in your circles, nerd. Yeah. Maybe you're the one who's not up with the times. Country bumpkin. You wanna say that again? Oh! <laughs> this office really is lively. Dang, so that was her in the background. That's crazy. No! No! So, that was Gospel of Eve. What the frick? I, it's always some weird twist. First one was a demon. Second one, it was nothing but like a house maybe or we don't know. And this third one, we have a we have a super AI that's learning from the internet. That's also an anime girl. I vibe with it. So, next episode that I have this series will be, you know, Silver Thread Deuce or Ducks or Dude. I don't know how to say it still. I don't know. But that will be he. Their games are already peaked. Oh my goodness. Preferences. What? No, never mind. How do we... But like, no, make sure to check out Spy Cousin or Spy K's. It's, this is, Lee, I can't wait to play all this stuff. Next is Silver Thread Ducks, like I said. Then we'll probably play this one, say. And maybe we'll play the games they worked on, too. They work on the art for this one? I'm not sure. Made art on this? See, I don't know yet, but this, is, this will be heat. I can't wait to see all the little indie games that we'll be playing. I hope they continue making stuff, though. Unless this is like the final final, which will hurt. That will hurt my soul. Yes, also, remember, my video's right here. Uh, oh, this, this is the part where I die. Um, nah, let's, let's click away from that. Why the frick is it still there? What? Ah. So. How the frick did I close that? There we go. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right? All right. Bye.